This is the mechanical specialties, three six by 54 inch long core cutter. This uh, model comes equipped with a drive chuck that is capable of uh, driving a three inch core of which you are seeing already placed on here, as well as a six inch core, which will go on this surface here. It cuts using a blade and the blade then cuts into a soft plastic mandrel, which does two things for us here. First of all, it makes it that the blade doesn't get dull by cutting it to something hard. And second of all, it uh, makes it so you don't get any burr inside of that tube, uh, making it hard to drive with your chuck later on. This model also features two independent double rollers, which add as support and rigidity to the drive shaft that drives our core. Being independent, we can take these, and if you have any run out or, or uh, displacement of the drive shaft, you can actually manipulate that by adding more pressure to one than the other. By having the two double rollers, we create an immense amount of support here that allows you to really guide the cutter right through the cardboard tube. If you look the handle, and also over here what we have is our safety switch. They both are illuminated to let the operator know when power has been brought to the machine at all times. We have the safety switch set over here so the operator's hands are totally away from the drive chuck and the blade at all times. This way it limits any uh, workplace accidents that could occur with this machine. In this assembly here, we have uh, a secondary roller here that is acting as a stop so you cannot engage the blade too deep in the platen. This will thus uh, create more life to the plastic platen. It is adjusted by this screw on the side. Simply by placing the blade and just touching the platen, you can then turn the screw and this wheel will come down just till it touches the cardboard tube. And we know we'll just cut the cardboard tube and won't be cutting the plastic. We have an adjustable measuring bar here. You can slide it right down. Say you want eight inches, bring it to your eight inch mark. Tighten down the back screw. Bring down your lever. Slide your cardboard tube to the stop lever. Lift the leather up, lever up, then you're ready to cut. This bar here is acting to hold the cardboard cores from falling from the to the floor, and instead he'll just grab it for you, so you can take it off in order to go on and make your next cut. Now that's a clean cut.